Let me know if we're going to head into the well, so I can watch your back. Trying to get shredded, y'all. If you're trying to get shredded, watermelon's the way to do it. Watermelon and uh, Captain, over here. Some chicken wraps with 50 calorie tortillas. Rotisserie chicken, throw in some lettuce, a sprinkle of cheese. Bro, you can have life. Three of them. And they'll be under 300 calories. And it'll fill you up. Like, it's all about finding things that are low in calorie, high in volume punch ghrelin back in the face because you're going to be hungry regardless if you're lowering your calories so the workups in the cabinet's hands they said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it though I was a bit caught off guard when the commander of the vanguard asked me how things were going as I was headed up the elevator hadn't realized you were UC Navy this whole time Nah. Might have been a little comforting to know. Even if Twala did mention you were still a little green. Hey, your call what you share and what you don't. And uh, I guess in the spirit of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC. It's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I... am a clone... of a man named Francois Sanon. One-time fleet admiral of the UC during the Colony War. Former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus. Woe to the defeated, in Old Earth Latin. A title he earned. The program... I was a part of, it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. I'm getting there. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death, on both sides. Free Star Collective, and you see. Military, and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Free Star Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to know, considering how much you've done already. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. Or if you've got any last minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. No telling how long the cabinet's gonna keep us waiting out here. Then I guess it's just a matter of Sounds like our cue. Here we go. The Regal Walk. 
Hey, yo, yo, what up, Happy? How you doing? I'm chilling, bro. Just hit 200 subscribers ah, on, uh, on YouTube. months to hit 100 and then maybe like a month and a half to hit 200 so hey we we on the up and up like all like five of my shorts dog have been getting over a thousand views one went kind of crazy got 5.3 thousand funny interaction mostly chess but if i have to become a chess streamer bro honestly it's not the hardest thing I'm gonna have to throw together uh, a chess tournament here again soon. I've been slacking. But I appreciate you giving some support, bro. Ah, welcome. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned sir, in yes, her sir. report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Captain, that's the president of the colonies. <laughs> Vanguard. Certainly comfortable speaking your mind now, aren't you? Not an unwelcome quality considering the circumstances. Regardless, let's get to business. We have two petitioners here making a yo, surprising yo, up, request. How you doing? Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data currently housed in the Armistice Archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. World domination. Duly noted, Captain. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand, we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask how many deaths the cabinet requires to act. Fifty? Fifty thousand? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Essene has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this yeah, terramorph, terramorph seem was at crazy, all dog. alarming to you? Mm. Yo, yo, what's up, Happy? What's the dare, bro? What's the dare that you want me to do? Huh? Better not be a little sussy. I'm not here for the sussy action. It's a little intimidating. I understand. <sighs> what should I do? 
Hey, don't get bashful on me now. That's very interesting. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? I'm uncomfortable opening the archives without gathering more information. Bro, I don't know However, what to do. if that's I'm the path like forward you prefer, directions. then so be it. My wife is sleeping. I'm bro. inclined to agree. As am I. Well, I am not. I've heard nothing here to convince me that we should do but anything but wait. And I will not risk galactic peace on a question of if. Yes, a fair assessment, yeah, Chief to Diplomat. So then. While the data you two have presented is compelling, I, tell her she's beautiful I think every we can day. safely say it's insufficient for the level of action you've requested. Carrying our second child. Perhaps once we... What was that? Are the Terramorphs attacking? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Incident. Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Terramorphs. Terramorphs. More attacks. Just as predicted. Good God. Damn it. They're here. Now. There. There must be another explanation. The creatures degraded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin. Order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. It's a me, yes, Mario. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support. I'll make the order myself. Yeah, I would until my Zeno mom squad though is off word, but going to take a while. And my dad died in 2019, well, so we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You two. Can't tell them that. Can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. Well, I appreciate I want you both on the I next train that. there. We'll let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. We're on it, ma'am. Captain, I'm right behind you. Let's get down there. Oh yeah, uh, my brother shot and killed him. I mean, it is all right that you asked. And I'm not laughing because of what, how it happened. I am just laughing at it. It's usually what happened. It hadn't come to that. Yeah, what the hell happened back there, Captain? There's no excuse for using lethal force here.
This isn't a joke. We're preventing casualties, not uh, causing them. So get your head in the game. There's still a lot of Understand? unknowns as to why. He never now, really said why. Officer. The way he's those not people insane. were acting. I think he's, he's just I've selfish. I've seen this though. before. They were under the Terramorph's influence, weren't they? I... Um, I don't know. Decision, decision. They were down at the port, and they just started... Yeah, yeah. Screaming. We tried to restrain them, no. get them on the train to get them out of harm's way. Really but, know why there's but some of the other officers down there. Mustered we up couldn't enough, restrain uh, them fast enough. To apologize just or anything like that. So started firing on us. We don't know. People we knew. Maybe one day we'll know, but they went berserk. Termonic projection. It's all some terramorphs they can induce this fog. We vibe it now. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control. Turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're going to need to be real careful with our fire. And keep that EM weapon at the ready. Oh, I can't wait to look at the comments on that new short. There's people... Three Let's comments, I gotta watch it. It's Not gonna lot. go crazy, I hope. Please, do what you can to help them. I, I... I'll survive. You get down to the spaceport. Go! You should get down to the spaceport right, bro, on the double. I, uh... Hey, yo, what, swag? I'll, I'll have an answer one day when I get to heaven, bro. Even if I don't get it, when I get to heaven. I mean, I don't get the answer, it'll be alright when I'm in heaven, so. It's all good in the hood. Happy. No worries. Oh my god, no time to waste, Captain. You're not the doctor. scary things. Alright, hold up. I feel like I'm missing something. We going. Oh, baby. I gotta find a gun that'll work against these things, though. The Rattler, maybe. Let's try this one. Surrounded. All around. That's what we're gonna be like. Creatures locked down on the landing pad, barely holding our perimeter. The 
just said you've done this before. Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need. Hello, but Diane. We can't risk them taking over any more men. How are you doing? Put those things down and do it fast. Wait. Hold them. you have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave on the way here. But we know how to handle pressure. I'll take it. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability than asset. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. Roger that. We're on you. He's getting all worked up over nothing. Alright, we got a squad. We rolling deep. so hard to kill, bro. Watch, you watch the short? The gun's probably the best one that's working towards it, but bro, I can't be ass. I gotta, sh I gotta start shooting fast. Right, sir. Not gonna pass my things reached the populated areas of the city we would have had an absolute massacre on our hands yes they weren't kidding about you too you know, best put the right people in the right place I don't want to think what would have happened if you two hadn't been here. Just glad we could rise to the occasion. Captain, we should report back to the President. Let her know the Terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant. Mm. Let's 
go back bro i love when people comment on videos that they say that they're uh, like they say they're like three four hundred dog in you to do that I don't I don't think you got that dog in you to if you're a 300 it's saying that you can play like a 3000 they said you all saved the city down there thank you Over, that we can get back to work. Sounds like a relief to hear. Thank you, gentlemen. Let your people all know how much we owe them today. Losing yes, anyone in the line of ah, duty there is you a tragedy. Are. I believe tax, we have some things they can't happen discuss. again. Captain? Hadrian? It would appear that the cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as. An apology. Your concerns about the Terramorphs will consider them validated. Thank you, ma'am. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, after today's events, the Cabinet has decided to revisit its previous decision. We will be supporting your collection of the Terramorph data from the Archives, as well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the Cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former rank of Major. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Y yes yes ma'am i'd be honored the grenade she excellent got a grenade on her hip but as you've both made clear for such an investigation to succeed first we're going to need someone to convince the free star collective and house varun to play ball and that's where i come in someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and <sighs> all the galaxy are facing right now the cabinet wants you captain to be that representative We see your atypical background as a strength, not a but hindrance. I just wanna the people run you'll the be stars, dealing with, they're rather a people every once in a while, like. atypical themselves. In exchange, we're willing to fast track your citizenship upon collection of the data. So, will you help us? I will become a citizen and I will get a house. I want a house. That's what I want. I'm glad to hear it. Now, we, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper support. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. You're dismissed. Heroes who make it down to that spaceport. And you. The things we do here we develop. I'm gonna go check in and keep things here for Where hope is gone. Hello. Hello. Thank Deputy McIntyre. Yes. Yes, sir. Consider it done. Skill points.
it. I just need one more skill point. I can be a weapon engineer and finally upgrade my weapons. That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Swaggy Diplomat McIntyre. Chief Yassine's second in command. Swaggy been playing chess? I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. Ooh, yeah. I was also told the president wants us to get you into the Armistice Archives ASAP. So, no, I'm talking to Swag Beans. You know what the archives are, correct? I'm mm, talking to Swag Beans. She's lurking in the chat. she had been lurking in the chat. And I don't know if she's listening. Bro, you ain't been playing nothing? Got depresso, drink some espresso, espresso, espresso. Huh. All right, we'll start at the beginning. When the colony war ended, the UC Happy, and the Star Collective came to the agreement. Are you camera? No, she's human. Needed to be off limits. Max, Xeno warfare. So they gathered up all the relevant research materials and sealed that information away. Terramorph data included in the archives here in the city. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three <laughs> armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people. The ambassadors uh, of the yeah, Freestar Collective and House Varun to hand over their codes. Are you Get a them camera? Both and yes. you'll have your data. <laughs> but that's a lot easier said <laughs> than done. Oh. oh. Dang. Oh, you fell into that swag. Okay. Okay. Turn up. Hey, oh, he got you, bro. He got you. Oh, man, he got me, too. Like, that's what's up. But we fell into that one hook, line, and sinker. W, w Riz. Ah, it's the it's the W Riz. Oh, oh, I time. I, you want me to time him out? I can't time him out. I'm timing you out, swag. That's W Riz. And you just slapped him in the face with it. I couldn't agree more. However, both ambassadors have reasons they won't or can't work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Me Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of Hasperman? Ah, <sighs> the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and Happy, the how old are you? to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. I guess with that, <laughs> I want to guess with that old saying of the camera is, bro. I, I know you told me, and you're obviously in school still because you talking to me about your homework that you've been doing but with that camera joke bro i gotta say you like 40 but i know you were like 16 ish i think a while back Certainly. 
See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of between pressure. Between 15 and 20? We just need to find the well, sweet swag spot. is between 15 and 20 UC as well, intelligence so. has a recording device planted in the and ambassador's And she's single and ready quarters, to mingle, bro. Which single we suspect and ready to you mingle. can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Report suggests there's a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for <laughs> intel. Maybe even convinced to work with you. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up. You're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. That's how I feel. Like Happy is in his room right now after putting that in the chat. He's just like. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. When the rest of House Baroon retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. But claiming to know how a member of House Baroon thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. It does, but there's a concern. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. It would at least be a speedier negotiation, but I, of course, hope the ambassador is alive and well. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. All right, Happy. Third time's it, bruh. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, I know you. I know you now in your room. You googling now. I know you ran out. You did your first one, which is the dub, and then your second one, and now you just ran out. And now you're in your third one. You're googling things to say. <laughs> I think she said stop no more, right? But I don't know. That's just me. Maybe Swag needs to put in chat uh, something a little bit more direct. You got to be direct with these men in 2023. That's all I'm saying. But hey. I don't know. I wash my hands.
By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Captain, Admiral Logan informed me of your part in halting the attacks. Whole damn city owes you. Now, what do you... You, you got this? I right, bet. I believe in you, bro. It's not going so good so far, but I believe that you can continue, uh... And you can pull out. Extra crispy, dog. You putting that grizz extra crispy? Swag, you trying to jump in onto some, uh, some bowel or some, uh... Oh, that's kind of sweet. That low key kind of sweet, though. That one kind of sweet. You know, Swag's gonna say if she were a cat, she would spend all nine of her lives dying so she could never find What's up, Mary? How you doing? Kylie, say hi to Mary. She's watching too. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Hey, don't you got a meeting to go to, Happy? Wow. What you doing? from outside of the club, have you? <laughs> you can't even get in. <laughs> it's a shame how Spiroon All right, pause. Happy, I need you to go to reel it back. You're at a 10 right now. I'm going to need you to reel it back. It's like, like at least like a 7. When someone insults you. I'm going to be up front with you. I'm not happy visiting anything related to the Freestar Collective. But you lead, and I'll follow. Never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic Bye, advantage Harry. to maintain. You stop Mr. Mind, bro. Of course. Yeah. Appreciate you. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? Sounds like it was a real mess down at the spaceport. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? Of course, of course. What are you? Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. You saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection. 
that Navi UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. <laughs> oh, stop. You're embarrassing yourself. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? Swag, you trying to play some Fall Guys? You're really going to push this? All right, I will give you I'm one about chance to, auto. One to convince me. Understood. I'm listening. Oh, I understand precisely what's at stake here. The balance of galactic peace. If you think some flowery language is going to change my mind, uh -oh. you're gravely mistaken. Uh-oh. I suppose you're right. Our job and our responsibility. Well, Captain, you you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm going to need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. You go in once. She is kind of uh, you need on your trip. Got a little bit of an annoying gift. vibe to her, Mary, for and sure. All research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being in the used eyes. to save the galaxy, it's the some galaxy crazy eyes. needs to be involved in the oversight. Free Star scientists will watch your people like hawks. Hey, Swag, you trying so to play Fall Guys? We have an agreement? Swag. 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 I'm sorry if you don't like Excellent. Follow. All right. Go quick save. We go we'll jump into some we'll fall guys and we'll see what happens to the stream, everybody. We shall see what happens to the stream because every single time I try to stream Fall Guys on multiple platforms, it makes my stream all laggy. Mm, swipe. But I feel like they got finished working on the tower, so it's going to work. So, Mary, you can now watch me and Kylie uh, yell at each other. Uh, it's more me yelling at her than anything else, but still. Hey, what up, Swag? Bro, oh, I'm so tired. Hey, Lego, my ego. I'm an I'm an inviter. Maybe she'll play. I don't I don't see her her friend on. Maybe maybe you can invite her too. Maybe she'll maybe she'll join if there's two of us. Hey, what's up, Kira? How you doing? Are you, uh, Kira? Are you doing more with your life than Kylie is right now? Mm-hmm. 
Tschüss. Let's jump in real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Kylie says hi back to Kira. Oh yeah, go, go go in the chat. Drop a drop a hello, bro. Bro, my wife laughs every single time she sees you as her friends you may know. Is it just a picture of her husband? your profile picture like it's a little sus if you ask me oh please my goal in life is to lift and raise you up from where you are right now now out of the mire of whatever you're doing with your life right now I don't know what you do. you're not even doing anything with how many jobs have you applied for one five <laughs> get up Let's go swag, I'm in. I'm in there like swimwear. Let's go. Um. And I want to do this. Uh, I was trying to see if I could get your speak real quick. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get you your audio in for the stream to hear, but I think I have to put something else like a chat link cable back in. But it's all good. I ain't even worried. She says that's messed up. Hey, guess what? It's my sister too. So like, what's up, Kira? What you gonna do? Hmm? What you gonna do? You'll do absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm literally Mario, so you're invalid. Your opinion's invalid. Did you not? What do you mean? I'm older than you. But 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 what but what what? You're an absolute. No, no, get up. I'm goaded. I'm 
go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, swag. Jump. Right there. That's where you want to be. Oh, move over. Oh, my gosh. You're, you're trash. You're, okay, get on the edge. Then. Oh. Oh my, oh my god, get on the edge then. Don't go in the middle. You'll be fine. Oh my swag, 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 swag. Oh my gosh, get through. Oh my gosh. Oh. You're stressing me out, bro. It never happened. Bro, that was me. I've been losing a lot of, not a lot. I've been losing some solid fat here recently, cutting my calories and doing some more cardio. The, the jawline is, the jawline is back. The cheeks bones are back. Oh, sure. I have yet to figure out how to do it, so. in business. Hey, 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 turn up, look at me. <laughs> There's, mm. Hey, that's so cheap, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it easy. Easy dub here. <sighs> Wall guys, oh man, this is the one that we're either goaded at or not. There's no in between. We will either be first or we will not qualify in this. All right, so we go left, right, left, middle, left, right, left, middle, left, right, left, middle, left, right, left, middle, left, right, left, middle. Bro, I'm going to punch some. I'm going to punch a baby. I'm going to punch a baby in the face. Go, Swag, go. It's on you. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight. I'm going to kill my dog get up <laughs> 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 
Bro, I... Bro! I'm raging. I'm dying. I'm literally dying. Alright, Swag, there we go. No! Some trash! Some trash! Made it right. <clears throat> I mean, hey, what's up, Mary? I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm low. I'm not, I'm not pitchy at all. My voice is, my voice is low. It's masculine. It's so wild. Yeah, that's right. Are these the ones that... Is this the finals? I feel like this is the final then. If it's five minutes, it's gotta be a final. The wind blows me?! Oh, this is the finals. This is the finals. I forgot. I didn't think this was the finals. Oh, Swag, you gotta move. You gotta move left. Move left. Or move right. Uh, wind's coming. Wind's coming. Wind's coming. Wind's coming. Oh my gosh. Willpower right there. That's what that was. All right, Swag. Oh, no, 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 no. Jump, 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 jump. Yep, right there, right there, right there, right there. Jump. <laughs> Bring it in. Jump. Uh, wind's coming, wind's coming. Swag. <laughs> Jump. Let's go. Oh. You ready? Jump. Jump, 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 jump. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh. Clocked up one hour total time of falling. That's crazy. I've fallen for a total of one hour. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, get a... Get a leg run here. All right, bye, Mary. Appreciate you stopping by. Who's Jake, though? Oh. I don't talk. I don't talk with Jake enough to remember his name. Hey, bro, I hit, um, I hit 200, I hit 200 subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, one of them's at... Okay, one of them's at 3.9k, one of them's at 5.3. Hey. Yeah, it gave me like a lot of... We gotta, we gotta play. Oh, I'm trash. I usually die there. Uh. Alright. 
I'm usually really good at this map too. It's crazy. I helped somebody from church move for five hours today. Packed it. No. You know, don't do it for pay. But I'm beat, bro, because I went for a run that afterwards, too. I am exhausted. I didn't have to do any of the packing, which is good. Just had to pick up, pick the stuff up, put it in the, the trucks, and then move it out. But still, it's tough. They moved into town here. They were about thirty minutes away before. Hey, Bobby, I appreciate the subscription to YouTube. I appreciate you. Appreciate you a lot. Jumping in and giving me some love. We on the road to 300. That's gonna be crazy, bro. 300 is the goal, cause you know, being Spartan and whatnot. 300, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be. How are you watching that when you're eight? Bro? That's why you're short. I can handle carry. Bro, guess what? I finished already. Where are you at? Wow, you're still back there. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Imagine, bro. Wow. Oh my gosh, you're trash. You're so trash. You're so trash. <laughs> you're a trash can, bro. You're trying to dive. Damn, look at you. Oh, good job. And you're going to fall off right here. Okay, up right here, and then here, and then. Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't. Your fingers are the ones that are on the controller. Your fingers are on the controller. It shouldn't be that <laughs> that hard. I Luckily, I got so high that you should have no problem. Crazy, bro.
I'm here. I'm in here like swimmer. I'm on a grape. Grape. I'm here. You know, go to memory. 29 years old, still got the memory of a gazelle. Ah, uh, they're just fast. I don't know if they have a good memory. They probably don't. But. Yeah, yeah. I got a memory like an elephant. right away come on come on put me in a good spot put me left please Not even close. <laughs> ah, I fell. Top, that's crazy. Oh, I'm trash. to the final with a stupid oh my gosh that'd be final round ten ice okay this is the one that I oh this is the one I dominated in you remember it was like last time we played fall guys let's go hey for the 200 subscriber special I'm about to dominate this These don't, these don't want to reanimate though, do they? Swag, don't get next to me. You did not just fall off right there. How? <clears throat> Where's
where's my um you wanna play some chess? Did you make an account? Yes, let's go. I'm gonna add you to chess.com. Bro, I'm a Bro. Don't you ever disrespect my name again. No. You're trash can. You're trash. say that was rough I don't take no L's though teaching sister Go chessing. All right, I need to add you as a friend here. Social, what's your uh? I'm going to uh, turn my Xbox off and you can join uh, on the, uh, I'll, I'm going to join in the actual uh, server on my desktop. Yo, you still here? Swag. There she is. Hello. Can you still hear me? Okay. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hey, what's up, Cal? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Bing Chillin wants to play three minute on raid. Alright. Bang chillin', what's up? All right, we'll play one game. Bang <coughs> chillin', let's go, let's go. Uh, hold up, gotta. Uh, 
messes up my format every single time, bro. So stupid. There we go. All right. Oh, I'm a stupid, bro. Uh, I'm stupid. Get out of here, cat. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was lame. Oh, I'm stupid, bro. Uh, take, 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 here, here.
Oh my gosh. <sighs> Bro, I just don't have enough time. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, that's so stupid, bro. Oh my gosh, I had to win, dog. I just didn't have enough time. Oh, I just ran out of time to keep it even. Swag, what's your uh, social thing? I sent it to you on Discord. Oh, okay, that's why I sent it. Okay. No link. Swag being, bro, that's not even you. What? <laughs> your profile picture. Who is that? It's a uh, Blade Runner. Uh -huh. My favorite movie. Oh, I. No, I'm not playing you. All right. Uh, let's go 30 minute. Okay. So I'll play as I'll play as Blacks. All right. I sent you a Okay. Sent you a quest. Are you playing on your phone or your computer? Computer. Nice. That's way better. Alright. Mm. Did you get the the invite? Um, one second. I was playing the computer. I had two missed wins, eight blunders, and eight mistakes. Whatever that means. <laughs> blunders okay. are really bad. Let's... Mistakes are kind of bad. Blunders mean you made a bad move. All right. Why can I not accept? Because I just canceled it. I'm going to send it again to you. There you go. 
should be able to accept mm-hmm. All right. So, the way that chess works, obviously, is you want to either checkmate the king or take all of your opponent's pieces. Okay. So, what you should do is take control of the center as white. So, you should probably push your pawn in front of your king or your queen two spaces in front of you. Okay. So, let's just go. I'm just going to do the standard here. So, you can either put that pawn that's in front of your queen, again, two spaces, or you could do something that is um, more, what's the word I'm looking for? More uh, natural is uh, developing your pieces. So if you want to develop your pieces, I would put your knight that is on your B1 square out to C3. Knight B1 to C3. So that's the one that's on your queen side. So it'll be on your left hand side. No. Nope. Your knight is the horse. No. But well, I didn't know you can. So your yeah. knight's like this. I'll try. You. The knight can jump over. But yeah. this, you actually did a good move because you can now put your bishop on that square that you just opened up. So on the B2, perfect. And now you have a good diagonal opening right there. So you're taking control. I'm going to do something along the lines of reinforce this here. Uh, you, at this point, you could develop your this bishop. Um, if you're watching my stream here, you could develop this bishop out to okay. this square here. Or you could develop this knight out to here. Maybe that's what I do. I put the knight out there, and then you can push this pawn up to to here afterwards, fighting for the center. But in these, either of those all options, all those options are good. Um, so right now, I'm going to finish developing my knight. I'm not really doing a defensive or a actual opening here. I am just kind of. But now I do, if you see here, I would, I'm attacking this pawn right here that's on the, your E4 square, the first pawn that you move. You want to reinforce that. So I'd either move your A, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, 2 pawn up 1 square to F3, or I'd move your D2 pawn to D3. So you want to either, you want to kind of create a little pawn barrier here. Perfect. So now you have reinforced this pawn because I otherwise would have taken it with the knight. Do you see how you're protecting that pawn now? Kylie? It'll take a minute. <laughs> Are you seeing how you're protecting that pawn? Sort of. So if you if you looked at my screen here, hmm. um, see how this pawn does not have anything because I could have taken this. Mm-hmm. I could have taken that, and you could not have taken my knight back uh, because your king can only go one space forward and nothing else is attacking it. So by you putting that pawn forward, if I decide to take your pawn now, you would just take with your pawn, and you'd just be up two points of material. Um, I want to finish my development. Uh, so I want a castle. I'm going to put this bishop out here. And now you can do a lot of things here. You can put your knight on this dark square here, or you can put your knight on the light square here. None of these things are inherently bad because this is a fairly... Uh, can do that too that's definitely a move um putting it on this square right here does block your bishop however it does fight for this center control here a little bit more and add an extra defender to your pawn but that's completely fine whatever you're you're not doing anything wrong i'm going to castle now uh and now i would tell anybody who's a very beginner i would tell them to develop that other knight out 
and then and I would probably develop it to the F3 square. I'd probably click on that and move it to the F3 square. There you go. Um, yeah, so I'm going to push this pawn here. And at this point, you can castle. So if you want to castle, you would take your king and drag it over two squares to the G1 square. It's on E1, you would move it to G1. Or you can move your queen up to there, to E2, Oops. and you could, yep, that's fine. That's perfect. No. You have castled your king, and now we're in a, a solid position here. So now is the fun part. I could put my pawn out to this square right here and your bishop is trapped um, but I'm not going to do that because I'm just teaching you you'll notice that you since you castled you gave me the opportunity to trap your bishop um, you see how if I push this pawn to b5 your bishop can't escape mm-hmm um, it could go to, actually, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do this. Um, so your only square that you can go without trading it for nothing is this D5, D5 square. Because you could take my pawn, but, but then you're... I would just take it. Um, but now that that happens, now you can take my knight with your pawn. And we've kind of opened up the center a little bit. Um, and I need to move my knight now. Um, if I go here, take, take. Uh, take here. Okay. So you can either take it with your bishop or take it with your knight um, or nothing. But I would, um, or you could just, you, yeah, that's, that's definitely that's definitely a move, for sure. Um, yeah. And you could take that pawn. It's free with your bishop. Now you're up a pawn. But uh, now I moved here for a specific reason. Can you see why I moved that bishop there? Mm. No. What am I attacking? You said attacking? Yes. My uh, queen? No. With if my, I with, move with, up, with, 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 I, with my bishop, what am I attacking? I don't know. So my bishop is on the same line that your bishop is at. So if you look here. Yes, yeah, so if I move up there, you could take my bishop. No, 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 no. So I'm looking at your bishop right now. It's your turn. Mm -hmm. So I am attacking your bishop, but also what's behind your bishop on the same diagonal. Um, that other piece? All the way in the corner there, that rook. Oh, that's what it's called. It's called a rook. So you could do one of two things here. You can either take it with your bishop, or actually you could do three things. You could take it with your bishop. You could reinforce one of four things, technically. You could take it with your bishop. You could move your bishop out of the way. Then I would take your rook. You don't want to do that because the rook's worth more than a bishop. Uh, you could do nothing, and then I'm going to take your bishop for free. Or you could move your c2 pawn up to uh, c3. I wasn't finished. Oh. Which does defend it, but now that I'm going, I'm going to take this now. It messes up your pawn structure even more. You have a triple stack pawn now. Because you definitely want to take it. Because. But now see how your pawn structure is just three in a row. 
Mm-hmm. That's not good. <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> I mean, it's. It's just not very. Uh, it doesn't. It's. It's not a good pawn structure, because now every all these are just targets for me to attack, and you really have a hard time defending them. You really can't defend some of them, to be honest. But overall, it's not bad. Um. I would take control of the open file with your rooks. The rooks come alive when the middle and the lines open up. So I'd potentially move your f1 rook to f1 to e1. Rook f1 to e1. Um, you could put your knight out onto e4 as well. Because uh, I'm going to take back and we are tied with material. Um, But yeah, this is a it's not it's not definitely not a bad game. For your first game, it's definitely not bad. So the biggest things are is pushing pawns in the center to take control in the beginning, developing your knights before your bishops, and then just in reinforcing pieces where they can be reinforced at. So now comes the interesting part. Now this is where I have the biggest struggle with coming up with ideas of how to uh, to win. So you could still take control of pretty open file with your other rook. So I would maybe put that rook that's on A1 to C1. That's a definitely a definitely a move taking control of that. Because now you're putting pressure on this and my queen has to kind of continue to guard it. But if I move my queen out here, you don't want to take that. Because what happens if you take that pawn on c7 with your rook? What you think would what do you think my next move would be? Uh, to c7. Yeah, if you if you take you my pawn on c7 with your rook, what do you think my next move would be? Your rook. No, what's the what, what's point. the most uh, what pieces are attacking your king right now? The little guys. No, no, no. What uh, what pieces of mine are attacking your king right now? I honestly don't know the names of the pieces that well. So the, the queen is the girl one, the one that's got the. I have my pieces set like so. If you could, you could look at my screen on stream. So mm -hmm. you have you have my bishop staring at you, and then you have my queen staring at you. Uh, if you decided to take this pawn, I would immediately take this pawn, your pawn, back on g2 and checkmate you. So you don't want to get tunnel vision. So it would not be smart to take this pawn on c7. And it would be, honestly, your best move probably is pushing your knight up to... E4. It's not like attackers, right? Like, said, it doesn't have to, like, eat the piece. You said what? Oh, wait. Never mind. Never what mind. Was, mind. What was the question? Never mind. What were you saying? Uh, you, you mean the best move maybe is blocking with your knight to E4, because if I take it with your bishop, you take with your pawn, and then you un, um, you unstack those two pawns that are on your D file. Um, you could move the pawn that is on g2 up to g3 but then you would allow my pieces to come in on the light squares which i do have a light square bishop so potentially don't want to do that because uh, i could just crisscross out the saucy pretty quick um i would say the best move probably is knight to to e4 which is the horse
because now you attack my queen. And if I take here, you unstack your pawns and you're back in the game. Um, on Passant is always forced, 2023. It is always forced. Uh, but, but now what do I do? I kind of put myself in a, a rough spot here. Uh, take, take, slide over, take, 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 take here. I always said it's forced, bro. It's always forced. That's what I said. Um, so I've just for sake of showing you what I mean, I will do that. So I would take with your pawn. You can take with your rook, but I would take with your pawn. Because now you have the potential to have a nice pawn chain again here. Uh, I'm going to do this I'm going to reinforce that um, and you have a good you have a good position now you have a very good position wait what happened here Oh, what? Are you still trying to figure out what you want to do? I don't even know what's going on. So... <laughs> Definitely not a bad move. Not a bad move at all. I'm going to attack the center. Try to blow this up. Um, I would not take. Oh, uh, maybe I would. I don't know. You could do one of two things. You could take or you could kind of lock down the center by pushing your d4 pawn up one square it's really up to you taking is just as good as not taking really that on the other hand you're going for a queen trade and i almost let you i almost hung my queen uh do i want a queen trade sure i'll queen trade You should snap take, yeah. Um, I'm going to push this. Because the plan is now, I'm going to get my rook involved if, if you take. Ooh, very smart. But. That and you just hung your rook. Uh -oh. Which <laughs> it will be.
double them up. You should. Whew. I'm already up to 210 subscribers, bro. I've gotten 10 in the last day and a half. And it is a GG, Kylie. I don't it's know what's going on. It's not, it's not technically GG. If you move your king over to F1, it's not checkmate next move. But if you don't, it's checkmate. Or you move your pawn, uh, your three pawns that are in front of your king up, but then you lose your rook. Yeah. But here... And now we are just going to gobble the goop all these pawns up. Getting an active king, that's a good, that's at the end game, that's what you want to do. You want to have an active king, that's exactly what you want to do. Now you should move your other pawns that are in the back row. There you go. But I'm going to push this pawn all the way over here to... I mean... That was a good game. I wouldn't feel mm -hmm. bad. I wouldn't feel bad. You played very well. Why would I feel bad? I'm saying I wouldn't feel bad. I'm not saying you would feel bad. I'm saying I wouldn't feel bad. If I was you. I was. I'm going to have to watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to. I would even not even worry mm -hmm. about that for right now. Um, I would honestly, I would just play at your level, um, play against people your level, and just learn trial by fire for mm -hmm. a few weeks to a couple months. Um, yeah, it was here. I mean, it was. That definitely was what you should have done. That's what I thought. Defender there. But yeah, overall it was. That wasn't a bad game. Alright, let's do a. Uh, Do one more.
You want to play one more? Sure. Okay. I'm going to make it a shorter time control, not 30. Play a friend. Um, play go 10 minute. Play a friend. Swag beans. Play. Wait, hold on. I want to make it unrated. Uh, play a friend. Swag beans. It is unrated. Okay. There you go. Such a good invite. Oh, there it is. All right. No mercy. What? What? What's up? I don't know what's happening. So do, do what I taught you. Memory dog. Can't remember. That's a move. Normal. I'll, I'm taking because I want to damage your pawn structure. So I'll have to get you take back with your pawn. Of course. Let's develop these knights here. If you move your king, you lose the right to castle, so I would not move your king. I'll probably block with your bishop. I'll just take it. It's fine. And you take the queen. Good. Okay. I'm so scared. <laughs> Bro. Uh, that's funny. Wait. Why would you just not take my... Oh. Whoops. I'm gonna let you take it, because you should just take that with your other rook. Good. Uh-huh, honey. Good move. Great move. But unfortunately, I, my rook is now on the seventh rank. It is going to be very tough for you. Very tough.
that's a good move. But it does leave the defender of a pawn. Uh, I do need to sit. I mean, I'm winning. Do I need to think? Check. You're here. Or you're here. Or you're here. Well, this is just <laughs> unfortunate, is what it is. All <laughs> right, now you've blocked in, which means. All right, so let's do something like this. This makes in the next few moves. Uh, it's definitely checkmate there. RIP. Definitely not bad though. You make it. You, you played that game like an 800. Look at you. Like 91% opening accuracy. I have I have diamond. Um. Chess.com Diamond Premium. I'm a premium member. Of course, you're a premium member. Yeah, bro. I play. I play. Uh, yeah, that's not bad, though. For a game that I hardly said anything to help you out with. Um, yeah, it was. Intense, tough game. Your opponent played well. It said your opponent got the better of you in that game. Your opponent had a good opening, but you were on another level. You navigated the mid game well. Writing 800. Oh, did you use your one review per day? For the... Oh, I guess I did. I mean, I didn't... that's fine. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Adjusted accuracy 68.8. 69%. Nice. I mean, yeah, you played good. You played. I I, ooh, I didn't play very well. I think I only played like eleven fifty. Oh, I was playing some. Oh, op I was playing some book openings there. Uh, fair. Okay, it's there, 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 there. Take is in there. Doubles. Yep. Okay. E five. Why was that an inaccuracy? Why was that a mistake? What's my best move? My best move is pushing the pawn in front of my king two spaces. Are you kidding me? What? This creates space for the king to move in case it is attacked. I hate the computer. It's a scumbag, bro. That's disgusting. Hey. When you're playing in the middle game, Kylie, mm -hmm. which is like after the opening, the only thing I'll tell you to leave you with is look for checks, which are you put the king in check, which means the king is under attack uh, immediately, captures and attacks that will help you a lot. 
That's a game I played with you. I didn't blunder it, but I had a fork of your rook and your king, and I did not see it because I was just focused on. I was just tunnel vision. Wow, that's a crazy move. Okay. Oh, I see what you're taking. There's here, here, here. Yeah, that could even be be something like here. And then I'm just dominating. I would recommend uh, just playing against some good people. Go play like the 10 minute games against people that you're at your level. It'll, it'll automatically pair people up near your your level. I'm doing that right now. Oh, are you? I'm kind of pressing buttons. Let me watch you. Don't watch me. King, and then he's gonna take your rook. That's crazy. I mean, it's all right. This is what happens. You're gonna get whooped on for a little bit. It happens. That's a free pawn. Checks, captures, and attacks. You can't put your king in check. Can you capture anything? No. What did he just do? He moved the little pawn down. And what is looking at his little pawn? My horse. Nope. But it won't. What's on the dark squares? Uh... What you just moved. The king? No. Nope. Wait, what? What's the what's the long diagonal looking piece? The bishop. Yeah. Look at that. Looking you're looking right at it with the bishop. Oh, whoops, wrong bishop. You can chill out. So he's, what is he doing right now? What does that knight do? My, mm -hmm. What is what is that knight that he just put out attacking now? Um, my bishop. Mm -hmm. But. Just... 
Okay, I forgot. These are 300s as well. Because you put that bishop there, he could have taken with your, his pawn. Um, but he did not because you guys are both low level. So, um, you... I would take his pawn on g7. I wouldn't trade, but... Oh, he took... How'd he take your queen? I don't even know. Your bishop is still hanging. He's going to take it now. Oops. Oh, wow. He's going for the disrespect. Okay. You got to move your queen. Move one spot. Yeah. So, yeah, this is how you're going to get better. You're going to lose a bunch, but then it's going to start coming to you. So, here's your bishop. You're in a rough spot. Wait, wait. He might hang mate. Move your king to c3. <laughs> He might hang back rank mate. C3, my king? Yeah. Actually, yeah, move your king to c Yeah. Move your king to C3. I'm, wait, I'm on C2. Oh, B3, my bad. Okay, you're good. Uh, move your rook. Like, Which one's the rook? The yeah, big castle looking thing, correct? Yeah. Um, e4, just one square up. Attacking with a bishop. Hopefully the bishop moves back. If the bishop moves back to b5 or a5, you win. No. Okay. You gotta move your king. You gotta move your king to. A four, that's the only move. Because 
find a mate, probably. It's mate like 50 different ways, but yeah, that's crazy. I want to see how you lost your queen. gotta remember you gotta move your swag you're mm -hmm. you want to take control of the center with your pawns you don't want to just move pawns willy-nilly oh and then you lost your queen that way okay that's an extra right okay so if you need if you only maybe if you only move one pawn But yeah, okay. that, was, that was good. That was good. You played very well in the the middle and end game. The opening was just what I would expect from What's up, history boy? How you doing? No. Oh, I thought that was happy. My bad. <laughs> I did not just join the site. That's crazy, bro. What's up, Rohan? Ugh. All right. I think it's I think it's bedtime now. I had a long day. I had a very long day. 210 subscribers. That's, that's crazy. Oops. Congratulations, you have 200 subscribers on YouTube. Boy. My back. All right, we're gonna play one game. We go, we go rock one game, guys. We go rock one game. Play on mine. Let's do a. Let's do one rapid game. Let's do one rapid game. Let's go with a Karo Khan. Okay. Opening here. Ooh, okay.
はいHe's gonna try to jump through here. He's gonna try to go here. So he wants to go here. We will preemptively move that. We're guarding this square here, so I might try to reroute my. Oh, right. He's still going for it. Um. What happens if I go for a queen trade here? Here, here, here. We're going to go for a queen trade. Uh, that just alleviated a bunch of pressure here. I've got a bunch of connected pawns. Okay. We'll go for a little en passant action here. That's fine. En passant. Uh, if I go here, he goes here. 
I'll go here, it goes here, I'll go here, it goes here. I am not, brother. I'm just playing against some random person. So if I go here, here, uh, okay, let's tactics. Here, 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 here. Here. We bind up here. Well, I've got this. Here, here. Okay. We'll go here. Yep, that's the plan. Okay. Yes. Yep, we calculated that. Okay, I'm just planning this bishop here and it's there forever. All right. And I don't have to worry about literally anything. Okay.
Ui. Oh my gosh, he was winning by so much because he had infiltrated. I was wondering about that. If I take, what do you do? Ah, uh, that's crazy. Okay, that's hard to see though. That's very hard to see. Then on or is this GG? All right. You guys have a good night. Kyla, you stay there? Mm hmm. I'm playing a game. It's the person is about to auto resign. Hey, you're getting a win. I hope. <laughs> 39 seconds. Oh, are you playing a game? Yeah, but not. I'm playing on my phone. It's a different account. <laughs> I oh. don't know why it didn't sign in. All right. We're going to bed, Nine Happy. Seconds. Happy's Did back in chat. Happy's back in chat. Oh, God. All right. Uh, talk Ten, to the swag. Nine, <laughs> Happy. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Hey. Happy's my sister. Did you not know that, Happy? I got a dub. Happy's your sister? No, I'm. T Swag is your she, sister. She's a little. She's a little slow, Happy. What? Happy, don't listen to him. I said, Happy. She's my sister. Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> that's why I was saying you need to chill a little bit. Your name is Howard. Bro, what? Ew. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he, oh. Heard, he heard that, dog. Oh, I'm sorry, Howard. <laughs> oh, he's going to go kill himself now. I'm sorry. I hope that wasn't your 13th reason. <laughs> oh, he said it's his 13th reason, too. Dang, bro. All right, though, guys. I love y'all. I just do the win. I'm a, I'm a ghost. Nighty night, though. My headphones are dying. I had sixty four percent accuracy. No, she's 19, dog. She's not six. Yes, she is. Actually, she is a minor. Can't talk. Sorry. Oh, she's a, He's a minor, too, so. Oh, no, I'm actually, I'm an adult, so uh. I, ooh, that would be, I am an adult. <laughs> a, these kids are wild these days. <laughs> Swag. 208 points. That's crazy. Look how much of a jump that is. Is that good? Yeah. Alright. Good night, guys. I love you. I appreciate you. You guys can